If you are one of those sitting on the fence wondering, should I or shouldn't I buy FM24, then if you haven't already seen what has come out, you need to see this, because I believe SI have gone above and beyond what I was expecting from FM24. And there's also one position that you really need to keep an eye on. Let's go and kick some balls. Hello and welcome back to FM with Old Man Phil and today we're going to continue to take a look at the beta version which has dropped now of FM24 and in particular we're going to be having a look at the 3D graphics in the gameplay and how I believe that FM have gone above and beyond what I expected them to do. I thought there would be a few minor little tweaks as they prepared for FM25 but boy have they put some effort into this new graphics engine and it does look very impressive at first look. Having played several games so far, we can now take a look at some of the gameplay and we can find out where it has improved and how much it has improved. And then we'll have a look at two positions which I think have been slightly overpowered in this version. Probably need to be tweaked down. But if they don't, then we're going to see some incredible performances by these players at full back. So let's get straight in, let's take a look at some gameplay and let's take a look at some of the areas in which it has improved. And so let's get in and take a look at some of the gameplay and I think that if you watch this for a minute or so you'll see that there is an absolute improvement over FM23 and what we've got is players passing the ball around a lot better, the passing looks a lot smoother, the ball moves between players a lot better. Heading is better, the way play players shoot and strike a football is a lot better and the goals are a great deal better and we've scored some really good goals in what games we've played so far. Everything looks a lot crisper and the players are controlling the ball well, crossing is good and heading is a lot better and it's just a huge improvement in what I had been seeing previously. And if you're just looking at this, and you probably, like me, can't believe what you're seeing, it really is such a great improvement and great work has been done. Goals look a lot better, tackling is also better, everything is improved for me, and it makes the whole experience of match day for me much much better and I'm really excited about getting stuck in to FM24 this year and this bodes well for later on um, and for the work that they're going to do when FM25 comes out and boy if this is something to go by if this is anything to go by then FM25 is going to be incredibly good and you can see from what I'm seeing players intercept the ball they seem to communicate better with each other their body positioning is a lot better and they are able to score much better goals Everything looks much more real all the way down from how the ball moves to how the players put the ball in the back of the net. And so I'm very, as I said, I'm very, very excited about getting stuck in to this game. And so the 3D graphics overall look extremely impressive. They did promise to have improvements in it. I wasn't expecting as much as I've actually seen. And I am really enjoying playing. It's making the whole match day experience a lot better than it was. And defenders don't seem to be making the silly mistakes that they made all through FM23. And so on the whole, this is a huge improvement for me and I'm getting less frustrated over the game and I'm actually enjoying it a lot more than I was in FM23. This is absolutely remarkable and if you're still not convinced yet then let's have a look at some of the goals that we've scored because some of these are absolutely stunning and they will show you improvements in various areas and we can point those out and highlight those when we watch some of these goals. Let's get stuck in and see some goals that we've scored. We're playing here for Burnley 
and uh, it is a tactic that they are familiar with. They played very, very well throughout the live stream as we brought over this FM23 save. But it took to FM24 quite beautifully. And you can see this is just a simple passing movement. The boys are very familiar with the roles, what is expected of them. But it does look like the gameplay as a whole is much, much better than it ever was. And a couple of quick one-twos there. And we were in and scored a goal against Arsenal. Another example of some really good passing. But keep an eye on where the fullbacks go. And um, a lovely crossfield ball which was put in at the back post goals seem to be a lot better this season and again we have a winger going up the right hand side look at where the fullback is he's just a fullback on support and these fullback roles are very overpowered i think again the fullback getting way up the field the other fullback on the back post slotting in from an acute angle he scored three goals in his four appearances this is a goal from Everton against us but what a beautiful half volley and then we saw Cliver with a stunning dribble I haven't seen a dribble like that in FM 23 it was quite a stunning goal we did. we did hire a set piece coach and it took him three or four games to get the boys working things out properly but once he did we produced a few little moments and here's the first one off the training ground beautiful goal and then we produced another one with two passes that went in via a deflection and so if you're not convinced yet by fm24 then i don't think you will ever be because I, in my opinion this is one of the best upgrades that I have seen since I've been playing the game which spans back now almost 14 years. As it's the last of its kind I think that everybody who has ever played FM should own this before it switches over to the new Unity engine. What fun it will be in years to come to compare the new Unity games against this the final game of its kind. But I just want to finish with a look at one goal. And this will show just how influential I think the fullbacks might be this year. Maybe the SI will tweak it out of the game. Who knows? But if they don't, then these fullbacks and how you use the fullbacks might become a very important part of the game for you. My left back, Jamal Lewis, he scored three goals in his four appearances when we played this live stream. And Costinha on the other side was a constant threat going forward, getting to the byline constantly and he had two assists in his three games and so I think that they are a very very important part of the game unless it gets tweaked out by FM. As an example let's take a look at this goal and now we can highlight where the fullbacks are and we do play with an underlap on the left and so his movement will become fairly clear and so what we'll see is the fullbacks moving forward in this way and this was something that happened throughout the games that we played the intelligence of the fullbacks was something quite remarkable and if we then forward on what happens keep an eye on the left back as the right back crosses the ball the left Left back now finds himself outside of the box and scores a super goal. And so I do think that it's well worth keeping an eye on your full backs and tweaking the roles to from wing backs to full backs, attack to support. Those two were just full backs on support and they were getting so far up the pitch, it was quite a joy to watch. I'm going to be watching my full backs and wing backs very closely over the coming weeks. I think this is a great upgrade this year. For the last in this series, before they move over to the Unity engine, I think they've done an extremely good job. And my opinion is that you should own this. I can't believe the improvements that they've made, given that this is the last in the series before they move over to Unity. If you're not convinced now that this is something that you should get, then I'll never convince you and you'll continue having a good time with FM 23 or 22, whichever one you're on. One thing is for sure, there will be even more improvements to the gameplay as we switch over in 25 to Unity. And so I'm looking forward very much already to when FM 25 comes out. And so that's it for this video. Thanks very much for stopping by and checking out what I actually think of the game. And what I think of the game is that it is a must-have this year. All that remains to be said now is stay safe, take care, and we will see you 
when we begin our saves and tutorial in this year's FM. FM 24 is here.